here, right? And I'm, I'm going to show you an example because this is actually a real example I did on the Gold Coast, which I, I bought this one over the phone. And I did, the negotiation took me 15 minutes. I bought this property, um, no money down, okay? Now, the property was $550,000. And that's, that's what the seller wanted, okay? Now, I've calculated, you know, I said, okay, I'll give you 445000 Gordon. Yeah. Have you used a target color? It's almost impossible to see. Can't see? Yeah. Okay. <coughs> <laughs> it's not any better, is it? Um, okay, so don't worry. The, the figures I'm going to show you on the on the slides anyway. So, so basically, what I'm trying to show you on this bar chart is that you, I got four hundred forty-five thousand dollars from the bank, lending me most of the money to pay the seller, but because I didn't want to. Well, I didn't want to pay the deposit, so I said, look, can I pay you the deposit by installment? So the, 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 um, my bank's lending me a first mortgage, my, um, my seller's lending me a second mortgage, okay? So seller wanted 550, accepted $445,000 at settlement. He said, okay, would you accept 445? Yep. He was actually really happy because he lost his job. He had a loan of about $400,000. And I paid him 445 at settlement. He was really happy because that straight away got him out of trouble because he, he got 45 grand in his pocket, and and he was he was really happy about that. And he thought it was a good deal because he was getting um, the remaining amount which I owe him is 105 thousand dollars. I was paying him a thousand a month for 24 months. And then I said I would then refinance when in, in two years time when the property's gone up in value I would refinance and pay him out. Okay. No, it's interest free because we didn't talk about interest. Okay, so what happens is when you don't talk about interest, people are not going to talk you to talk to you about interest. All right, so when you negotiate these kind of deals, right, make sure you don't talk about interest. Okay, but I know you guys will. Now I've taught you guys, but <laughs> um, but um, the now let's say if I had to pay interest on one hundred and five thousand dollars. Let's just say back then, uh, the, let's, say, let's say interest rate at 7%. How much money have I saved? $14,000. Yeah. So, so I actually saved about $14,000 in interest, right? Because, because I, I'm paying him by installment and I don't have to pay interest, yeah? So even though that's kind of the um, retail price at the time, because a lot of people are saying, oh, how do, we, how do you buy at a discount? See, buying a dis at a discount is not always about price. Sometimes it's about the terms, yeah. okay? So if you can negotiate the terms without the, you know, the price tag, it's, it's just, you know, if, if you can negotiate and drag it on, I've saved 40, it's, it's, I could offer him, you know, 540 or 535 and he wouldn't be happy with it. He says, I want, I want my 550, I want my 550. So I said, all right, we'll give you 550, but this is how I'm going to pay you. He goes, yep, that's fine. Because some people have certain, they sort of quite get stuck on certain part of the transaction. So they go, I want, some people just want the price. You know, some people really want the cash flow or something, depending on what they want. So you give them what they want, um, and then you can still message the rest of the deal where, where you can still get a discount. Any more questions about this? Yeah? I don't quite understand the um, 105,000. Month, yeah. Months, yeah. That's, that's right. I still owe him. Yeah. That's right. And then you pay the rest of it afterwards, like from start. Yeah. I'll then refinance, pay him out. Oh, so you can get a, another loan from the bank, the eight yeah. k. Oh, I will. Re I will increase the, my loan to pay him out. Yeah. 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 Two years time. Yeah. <laughs> but what's happened is, the the the. The part two of this story is that, um, you know how they had this flood in Queensland and all this sort of stuff? Yeah. So the value hasn't gone up that much. So it comes two years time, I ran the guy out because the guy was really appreciative of what I've done for him. So I said, I just said, look, I'm, you know, it's really hard to get finance at the moment. I said, you know, can you just, can you, can you just drag it on for another two years? And he said, that's fine. So 
So he's, he's, I'm just keep paying. It's already past the two-year mark, and I'm still not paying interest. I'm still not paying interest. <laughs> so, so how much more interest have I saved? So it's probably going for about three years now. I'm still paying thousand so. dollars. All right, because a lot of times, what you know, a lot of times they, you know, they, yeah, it all depends on what they want. They're willing to accept. Um, cause then he's pretty happy with it. Um, the way the um, the seller was secured, because some people have said, well, what if you don't pay the hundred thousand dollars, hundred thousand, one hundred five thousand? Well, he's going to have security of the property, so he's, he'll, he can either register a second mortgage of the property of the title, or he can register a caveat. I mean, there's a there's a loan agreement between me and the seller. Does that make sense? So, after settlement. Any questions? Okay, so strategy number three is pretty straightforward. Okay, it's just simply, simply you get a private lender who will lend you the deposit. Okay, um, you basically borrow 80, 90 percent from the bank. You buy a prop, property using a bank loan, and then you borrow the remaining 20 percent from a private lender. Okay. So strategy number four is when a vendor finances you the whole property. Okay. So, so you know how that strategy I was talking about where you kind of, where, where I buy a property and then finance to somebody else. In this case, I could pay, I could have a contract, a vendor terms contract with that vendor and pay it off, okay? I haven't done too many of those, but that's one of those ways you, because oh, there's a better way to do it now, these days, yeah? Sorry, Corey, just back to the previous one, yeah. the private lender. What sort of typical rates would you be? Yeah, good question. Um, private lending rates, if you go to like a commercial private lending caveat loans, I don't know if you ever checked, looked into those, they'll charge you three to four percent interest per month. So we're talking about three to six percent now. God. Per month. I want to show you. Hey, you paid that? Yeah, yeah. I'm not. Yeah, yeah. I'm just saying that probably yeah, that's that's really high. So you're looking at three to four, usually three to four, and maybe six percent. If you're paying six percent a month. How much is that? I don't think that's legal. I, I heard that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, seriously, because I, I heard that. Um, yeah? 72% per year. Because I, I thought that you can't go above 50% per year. Yeah. So if, you, if you're paying 6%, that's gone above. 72. Uh, I, I don't know, maybe, I don't know whether they change the rules. But anyway, I thought it was more, no more than 4.5% 4, 4 per month. I thought that was maximum. But I don't know, you might want to look into it. But. I, I made 3% 4 or 5 years ago. Yep. Last year, I paid Yep. Okay. Yep. <coughs> so, yeah. So, <laughs> so, you got. Yeah. I mean, if you're borrowing from friends or, or, or relatives, like I, I've got like um, just one of my students, he, he, he borrows, you know, money from, from his parents and uh, pays him maybe 12%, 10% per year, that's okay. But, but if you're paying 6% a month, how much is that per annum? 72%. 72 per annum. Effectively, it's much more than that. Yeah. So, you know, it really varies and it really depends on your relationship with your lender and what you can negotiate, the rates and everything, and how much security you can offer them. So, yeah. <coughs> but that's a good question. But, yeah. Sorry? Reasonable, I, I, I would say reasonable is between 12 to 15. Yeah, that's, that's what I would pay. I probably wouldn't pay any more than 15. Yeah. Per year. Per year, per year, per year, sorry. So, you know, a standard, standard wise, I pay about 1% per month. That would be pretty, pretty standard. Yeah. So, and the vendor. <coughs> hey, Jay, how much time have we got? Oh, 15 minutes. Okay, so, so the vendor can finance you the whole property, okay? You can have a, a vendor terms contract with the vendor and just buy it off them. Um, so, so basically you have a long-term settlement, it's a contract, and you just basically pay them some deposits, some interest along the way, and, um, and, and you don't have to pay a deposit, okay? It can be with or without interest. Um, and then this one is when you actually have to put some initial funds in, okay? So what it is is you renovate, you buy a property, you renovate it, and then you refinance it, okay? So Jay's probably done some of these. Yeah, Jay? 
Ben Ovation, Ben Ovation, and then refine.